good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i've got another super cool fun fast lesson in sketchup let's get cracking and see what we can do with some perfectly placed polygons step one of course i always have you go to hlmodtech.com so you can get to the cool little link and actually launch sketchup if your school has it borked like mine does i am going to simply start modeling I'm going to click on the new file and I want to play with metric today so let's do millimeters. Once you've selected millimeters delete the dude click on untitled and let's do poly because this one's going to be called polygons and you can put your initials after it so that it's easy to keep track of whose it is when you're done. Remember we simply click once on SketchUp and hit select to put it in that folder. Today we are going to play with the polygon tool it is going to be fun and fast. First, click on the origin and draw a polygon. Note if you touch either the green axis or the red axis, it lines up the endpoints, which is nice. When you're done with that, switch to the select tool, double click, change to M for move, click on one of those endpoints or the midpoint, go out along the green axis a long ways, and then tap control so that it's doing a copy. Click and set it down, immediately hit the divided by key, and pick a number between 3 and 5, and squeeze in exact replicas of your shape. It is that easy to duplicate and distribute polygons. Let's do one more thing with our polygons. Click on the outside edge, click on the entity info, and then change it to a different number. I'm going to make this one a 7-sided shape by pressing enter. I'm going to click on the next one and make it an 8-sided shape. Just because I don't want patterns, I'm going to press enter. This one, I'm going to do a four-sided shape. Guess what that's going to look like? Yes, a square or a diamond. And last, I'm going to pick a strange one. I'm going to go 13 and press enter. Note the more you do, the closer it looks to a circle. Let's switch to push-pull, and let's push the first one up quite high. The next one, I want you to click and release and then move up your other shapes endpoints until you find the midpoint. That way you can say this is exactly half as tall as the other. Do that again by taking the red arrow and moving up and find the midpoint of the first shape. Just so you can prove how far you can go, go to the midpoint of the first shape for the third one, or actually the fourth. Note, you can keep doing this as much as you want. I'm just proving to you how easy it is to use other parts of projects to make your project look the same. Let's find another cool tool, Zoom to Extents, so that way we can see all of our project. Notice if we hide the toolbar window, it shows up even better. I'm going to raise this last one up, and I want to go to the midpoint of this piece, and boom. So we've got one tiny, three middle, and two tall. Let's use another amazing tool called the offset tool. Go to the second shape and just squeeze and hold till you've got the ridge or the amount of offset you want. And then let's use that push pull a second time. And let's push pull so it's adjustable and then go to the midpoint of the shape for how far down you wanna push it. If we look inside, which we can do with the orbit tool, I also used the scroll wheel to prove it. So we kind of made a little bucket. Let's do the polygon tool one more time. Let's go to the midpoint and then the midpoint so that it knows we want the middle. And then draw any shape you want. And then do that same trick where we push pull that piece down in but let's do something real crazy let's go to the midpoint of the smallest shape if you're feeling up to it try and solve this last one without any tutorial steps the last part i want to make sure you really understand is the cool paint if you browse you've got so many cool colors crazy things like glass and mirrors you can take your object and you can paint it so you can see it through. You can choose all kinds of materials to make yours totally awesome. Friends, I'm going to give you one more amazing trick. I'm going to show you the triple click. Watch this. It's one, two, three clicks to grab all of it. And then when you pick your cool material, it paints it all at once. 
It takes a second to get used to it, but when you find the right pace for the one, two, three clicks, it is so quick and efficient as you paint and make your objects look totally awesome. Have fun, explore, see what you can find when you've got yours totally painted. If you're in my classroom, I need you to turn in a super quick screenshot. If you're out on the internet, just pat yourself on the back for being awesome. Hey friends, if you found this useful, if you learned a new skill, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.